Shabbat Shalom. It's Rabbi David Barron with a Torah talk, and uh, I hope everyone is healthy and staying safe during these times, and we're all very hopeful. We look forward to resuming our Shabbat dinners and Shabbat services this summer. Speaking of hopefulness, this week's Torah portion tells a fascinating story. Many of you are familiar with it. It's the story of the spies. Uh, Moses sends spies to tour the land of uh, Canaan and to examine it and determine its strengths and weaknesses. And the majority report comes back, and there's actually a little bit of truth in what they say. Yes, indeed, Moses, uh, the land is flowing with milk and honey. It's a beautiful land, but we'll never be able to conquer it. Uh, their report was absolutely hopeless. They said we were, those people were like giants and we were like grasshoppers next to them. Uh, the cities are big and fortified and uh, impenetrable. Uh, but two men, Caleb and Joshua, said, no, with God's help, we'll persevere and we'll take the land. And it's very interesting. That minority report ultimately prevailed, but the Israelites had to wander in the desert because they were stuck in that fearful slave mentality. Uh, they had just come out of an exodus from Egypt and from decades, if not centuries, of enslavement. So it's very important for us to get out of our heads Yes, we hear reports, certainly uh, we hear frightening reports about the increase and rise in the number of cases of this horrible coronavirus that originated in Wuhan, China, and that's affected the entire world. And many of us are frightened, and understandably so, but also we have to be hopeful that a cure will be found, that a vaccine for this virus will be developed at a very speedy pace. And we're hearing reports from around the world that that might happen. So it all depends on your mindset. And are you hopeful or are you a hard-bitten pessimist that has absolutely no hope? You know, when those spies came back, they really frightened the people. The people did not want to proceed with their destiny. And this is really an important message for all of us. Don't take the majority report every time. Be critical. Be a critical thinker. Hear all of it. And then look into your heart. And if you have faith, and if you have a belief that things will return and restore to a greater degree of normalcy, that's what you have to believe in and act upon. Uh, lastly, about this getting back to normal thing that we've all been talking about, I hope you don't get back to normal. I hope you continue to stay connected with family and loved ones that this time has almost forced us into doing. I hope you don't go back to becoming an obsessed consumer or a sports fanatic, and that you carve out the time that's appropriate for your spiritual life, for your inner life, and for your connection with others. Because I think this time was a great lesson, a great teaching for all of us. So remember, be hopeful. Things will return to a greater degree of normalcy, but you shape it and determine it. And I hope it's with faith and with hope. Shabbat Shalom.